Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and here let's check out the top new games made with Unity launch in July of 22. The reason why I make these videos is to show you everything that the engine can do, the only limit is really just your own skills and imagination. The variety and awesomeness of the games shown here really puts that to the test. All of these games are uniquely impressive, so the list is in no particular order, except for the number one game that is my personal pick of the month. Do you want to learn about Unity URP and make your games look their best? Unity sponsored this video to let you know about their recently released and completely free URP ebook. This is a massive 120 page ebook covering everything from the absolute basics to some really awesome advanced use cases. They talk about lighting and shadows, reflections and lens flares. There's lots of info on how to write custom shaders and various pipeline callbacks, and a super important section all about optimizing performance to the max. It's completely free, so check it out with the link in the description. I'm currently studying this ebook myself. Alright, so starting off at number 10 with a game from a pretty big IP, here is Digimon Survive. It's a tactical RPG set in the Digimon universe. Now for me, I never really got into Digimon. When I was a kid, I remember there was a sort of rivalry between Pokemon and Digimon. And for me, I always preferred Pokemon, so never really got into this. The game has a pretty deep story, presented as a sort of visual novel. And visually, the game looks pretty excellent. The characters look 2D, just like the show, but they exist in a nice 3D world. There's also lots of pretty good looking effects to make each action feel really powerful. You follow the story, then engage enemies in turn-based battles. It's got very positive reviews, so if you're a fan of technical RPGs, you might like this one, even if you're not familiar with Digimon. Then for something completely unique, here is As Dusk Falls. This was one of the standouts of the latest E3. Visually it looks extremely unique, very interesting. It's mainly still images with some animations, kind of like a comic book brought to life. Visually that makes for a very unique game. And the game itself is an adventure game, it's got a very deep story where all of your choices matter. You can play and replay the game countless times to see all of the vastly different outcomes for each character. It also features both local and online co-op with up to 8 friends. So this one is an interesting co-op game where you use your phone or tablet to vote for or against your friends. On the ground, now! Then one game that looks excellent and is strangely extremely cheap, Necrosmith. You create your own custom characters from unique body parts that give you unique skills. You can upgrade your characters as well as your base tower. Then with your characters you'll let them defend and explore the world by themselves, or you can take manual control over any of these characters. There's hundreds of different body parts for you to mix and match with all kinds of unique skills. You explore a massive world with dozens of biomes to find the keys and finally escape this world. You can construct buildings, gather resources and open portals to help you travel faster. So it looks pretty interesting and honestly I'm really surprised by how cheap this game is. It has almost 2000 very positive reviews, it looks really awesome, very unique and it costs just 3 bucks. So if you like what you see and you want a fun time, then this seems like an easy pick. Up next for a really awesome colony sim, here is Clanfolk. You can tell right away that it's definitely inspired by RimWorld, so if you like that, chances are you're going to like this one. It's set in the Scottish Highlands, which is a very unforgiving environment. You must fish, gather, hunt and farm in order to survive. You start off simple with just a handful of clansmen, gather some wood and build a simple hut. The environment truly is the biggest challenge, things are easy in the summer but get really difficult in the winter. So you must prepare for a really harsh winter, you must build an inn, trade with other clans and hopefully your clan won't prosper for many generations. It's out now in early access but already seems extremely well built, packed with tons of features. For some VR, here we have Compound. This one is a randomized, free-roaming roguelite shooter. The description itself mentions that it's for VR veterans, so it's a pretty intense game, although it does feature multiple locomotion options. It's got great visuals, it's 3D but with pixel art, lots of weapons for you to use and tons of enemies to fight. Even has some really interesting mutations along with several difficulty levels from super easy to punishingly hard. According to the dev, the main goal of this game was to be different from the tons of generic wave shooters that exist in VR, and looking at how unique the game is, all of these levels which I'm assuming are randomly generated, all of the unique weapons and enemies, with all that, it does appear to have achieved that goal. Next up for an excellent game that finally came out on PC, here is Monument Valley and Monument Valley 2. 
Chances are you've already heard of these games, they are some of the biggest hits, the best premium games on mobile and now you can play them on your PC. These games are all about some interesting puzzles based on weird perspective tricks. You can rotate lots of parts in the environment in order to reach the goal. The gorgeous environments really do stand out, they've got some gorgeous solid colors with some very unique, very pleasing shapes. So this is one of those that if you're into puzzle games then you definitely need to play these two. Then for something that was also another hit in the latest E3, here is Baron Breakfast. This was the standout title from the wholesome game stream and the game definitely has some cozy wholesome vibes. Like the name implies, you're a bear and you run a bed and breakfast. You have tons of items to use and many options for building your inn. You can place down some beds, some closets, place down sinks, lamps and really everything you need in a nice bed and breakfast. How you get items is by going out and exploring the world and interacting with various NPCs. It's got some great looking art, I love the walk animation on the bear, so if you want a chill game to just enjoy yourself then this one seems perfect. Up next for one of the biggest hits of the month, here is Dinkum. I must say I really only know the phrase fair Dinkum from watching Aussie Man reviews. This one is sort of a home lifestyle builder game, very much with an Australia vibe. You can gather wood, pet some animals, build your own house, plant some food, harvest and eat it. Part of the reason why this one has become so successful is because it has online co-op multiplayer. So with the help of friends you can build a truly massive town that looks exactly like you want it. Basically if you enjoyed Sardew Valley and you want to play with friends then definitely check out this one. It's already got over 5000 overwhelmingly positive reviews so this one is truly a massive hit. Then over here for some awesome 2D platformer action we have Dungeon Munchies. Really great name, you go out and explore and hunt down some monsters then you can cook and eat them. Definitely a very silly combo but it looks like it works great. It looks fun to fight a giant pumpkin or a lobster then go back home and make some delicious food that gives you some excellent buffs. There's tons of dishes for you to make as you mix and match ingredients, lots of unique battles for you to use in your battles, and the whole thing is packed together with a fun, well-written story. It's a very interesting game with already over 4,000 overwhelmingly positive reviews. And at number one for my personal pick of the month, here is Power Wash Simulator. If you haven't heard of this game, then you might think this is an odd choice. How can a game about cleaning be that good? But it really is great, there's something about starting with a really dirty environment and cleaning it up that just feels so satisfying. This is without a doubt the biggest set of this month, it just came out of early access with already over 20,000 overwhelmingly positive reviews. And if you want to know how this kind of system can be recreated then you can watch my video on the cleaning minigame from the Rover Mechanic Simulator. This game is essentially that mechanic taken to its limits. You start off small with a simple tool making some simple jobs, just cleaning some small stuff. Then over time you build up your business, upgrade your tools and take on more and more challenging contracts. And of course part of the reason why this game is so successful is because it has online multiplayer so you can play and clean with friends. So if you want to have a nice relaxing zen time cleaning up some stuff then check out this game. The question everyone's asking right now is who's going to clean up this mess? Alright so that's 10 awesome new games made with Unity on launch in July of 22. I hope this list helps you see how the Unity engine is capable of building anything, the only limits are really just your own skills and imagination. Let me know in the comments if you've played any of these or if there's any interesting systems in the games you've been playing. Also don't forget to check out Unity's URP ebook, it's completely free and full of awesome, very useful information to help you make better, more gorgeous games. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.